Oshinoko is a masterpiece in the making. From the writing and animation to even the marketing, many aspects of the show made this episode perfect. This is no doubt one of the best first episodes I have ever seen. Watching episode 1 fills you with a roller coaster of emotions, man. This is the kind of show that will get you all comfy and cozy, then serve you a weekly dosage of irreparable mental damage. I went into this completely blind, and my expectations for this show were high, and boy! Did it meet those expectations and then some. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. And I get it. You may be hesitant to watch because it's a show about idols. Disgusting. But this show is centered around lies. This is one of them. And as long as they keep playing their cards right, this might just be a show to remember for years to come. So yes, I believe Oshinoko will become a modern masterpiece. On the surface, this show looks like some slice of life self-insert fantasy where a loser otaku gets to meet the girl of his dreams. Well, you're very much wrong. <laughs> the other just trust me on this, okay? Because this story shows a very realistic depiction of the entertainment industry and does not sugarcoat that at all. We see exactly what it takes to be a pop idol or actor in a world where fans treat you like objects and corporations see you as money printing machines. The show is built around the idea that the entertainment industry, specifically idols, thrive off of lies. And that is completely true. The job of idols are for fans to adore and feel a personal connection with even when they most likely couldn't give a single shit about you. Okay, I'm not saying that idols hate their fans or anything, but more often than not, truth is, those idols do not love you. The job of an idol is to make that false feeling of love feel as real as possible. To be a successful idol, your life would have to be surrounded by lies, and fans will gladly believe in this lie. And one of these people is a gynecologist named Goro Amemiya, a massive fan of pop star idol Ai Hoshino. And less than 5 minutes later, he finds out that his next patient is none other than Ai, who is pregnant with twins. Excuse me, what? Idols can never have children, let alone be in a relationship, so long as they plan to keep their career going. It would break the illusion of a relationship between the fans and idols. So doing such as an idol is seen as a betrayal of the fans. But even if Goro is hesitant about helping her, he sees just how much these children mean to Ai. Ai's job is to love her fans, and to some extent, she does. But what she wants is a different kind of love. A love you can only have when you have children. So he decides to ensure her entire process of labor goes smoothly. And I would have to keep this a complete secret or her career is over. But she's confident in her ability. And besides, in the idol industry, lies are the biggest sign of love. So what's one more lie gonna do? Being able to keep this big of a lie just proves she's a better idol, right? And that is just the initial premise. But oh man, we are just scratching the surface. A stalker finds out about the pregnancy and brutally murders Goro right as I was giving birth. What the fuck? But oh, there's more. He suddenly wakes up to be reincarnated as the newborn son of I. Okay, okay, I know how weird this looks, but don't click off. Please, trust the process. Let Aka Akasaka cook. The gynecologist, now Aqua, with his twin sister Ruby, live their lives as the children of a 16-year-old pop idol. Here we see I work up the ladder as she tries to make more money to support her children. And what I really appreciate about this show is how it keeps its portrayal of the industry grounded. The show doesn't overplay the darkness of the industry. It shows its true colors all while keeping it on the side of realism. If the show exaggerated the struggles of the industry, it would start to feel detached from reality and suddenly lose its effect. But Oshinoko's setting is real, and it doesn't hesitate for a second to remind you of that. But this industry doesn't stop Ai because she genuinely loves her children. She may not be the ideal mother, but she'd do anything for them. Despite all the hardships she'd have, Ai still does her damn best to thrive in the industry because she wants to give the world to her children, just as they have given to her. In an industry full of lies, perhaps I can find real happiness in her children. And this true love I has discovered becomes the main driving force of the show. I just grew to love I as a character, not only because of her looks and personality, but what she stands for and who she is as a person. As we get to learn more about her personal life, I slowly becomes humanized as a character. From a cutesy pop idol to a real person with feelings and motivations. And my heart just melted every time we got to see her genuine side. In real life, we tend to forget that celebrities are humans too. 
People on the internet just throw insults left and right forgetting that they aren't some perfect being with zero emotion. And as you get to learn more about who she really is, you start to root for her and her family every time they succeed. One of this show's biggest highlights is how it's able to make characters so believable and it really helps you care about them. And they make I someone you just love to root for. If an idol's job is to captivate the hearts of the fans, she did exactly that. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, go watch it. Right now. I mean it. Pause this video and come back later because we are about to go into spoiler territory. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll just be waiting here. Okay, now that we're in the spoiler zone, what the fuck, man? I can't take the show anymore, man. This show fucking sucks. But at the same time, it is beautiful. Now, okay, let's go over things in order. This scene was beautiful. Hospitalized for most of her life, Sarina could never do things she dreamed of doing. She is also a massive fan of Ai because she herself could never dance or sing live on stage. And because of her illness, she always had a constant fear of falling. And that is seen through her constantly falling whenever she tries to dance. But who other than Ai to help her achieve what she's never been able to do? She was finally able to do the thing she's always dreamed of doing. And it's a really heartwarming scene. But then, this happens. Because of her job as an idol, Ai has never felt true love. And because of that, she has never told her children the words, I love you, because she is afraid it might just be another lie. And in her dying moments, she recalls her life and realizes that what she had for her kids was true love. And although she will never get to see them grow up, she can die in peace knowing that she finally got what she had always wanted. Ruby, This scene broke me. I was in pain. And in hindsight, I should have known this would happen. Of course the mother dies. It's not like they were even hiding the stalker's intentions. But with everything that was happening in between, it distracts you from wondering what would happen. Or rather, it makes you just pray to God it doesn't happen. And the impact of Ai's death also is something of note. Her death transforms the entire tone and genre of the show. From a comedy slice of life to a murder mystery. I wasn't lying about what I said before. Ai's true love for her children does become the main driving force of the show. But not because it moves Ai to keep working hard as a celebrity, but because it drives Aqua's revenge plot and his reason to become an actor. And after all that, I sat there feeling melancholic, but at the same time excited to see just what happens next. I gotta say, I appreciate the marketing for what they've done for this show. All we got to see from the marketing was Ai and I only. Almost every ad about the show was about I. We also saw cardboard cutouts, merch, and figures all only of her. Sound familiar? To me, it feels like this was their way of treating I like a real life idol star. Because even after she dies, she is still the star of the show, forever in everyone's memories. The marketing was used not only to prevent spoilers, but also to get the viewers attached to this character early on. They wanted you to fall for this character far before the show even started to make her death far more impactful. And it worked. That ending was painful. And even on my rewatch, I still managed to catch myself tearing up. And seeing Aqua's plot for revenge just fills me with a lot of questions and hype for what's to come. I am really liking the sense of mystery they set up here. And making this episode 90 minutes was the perfect choice. Her death is a crucial hook into the series. And if this was divided into 22 minute episodes, we'd be seeing most people drop this show after episode 1 or 2. I just can't believe one episode, a pilot episode, made me so invested in the series. I cannot wait for what's to come from this show. Right now, only episode 1 is out. But this is one of the best introductions to a series and I believe that this has the potential to become anime of the year. Or if they keep this up, 
This could even become a modern classic. This looks like the beginning of an anime to be remembered for years to come. And I just can't wait to see it unfold. If you're hearing this right now, con congrats, you <laughs> finished the video, wow, crazy bro. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. I, I, w I was gonna make a one thank you for 1,000 video, but no, no, it just kept going higher and higher till, wow, I was already shocked to get 1,000 subscribers, man. This is just crazy, the reception is just crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um... I am recording this as Oshinakuwa episode 2 is about to come out and I'm just... <clears throat> episode 1 was just too good, man. I, I had to just make a video on it. But, you know, if you enjoyed the video, I don't, I don't have to tell you what to do. Just, just stare. But, you know, I, I, I have three video essays now so I can do this. So, whoa, look at that. Whoa, 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 check this out. They're, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, goodbye.